To draw the details of the wall layering, you need to first assign lines to the type of wall. If it was not done while drawing the wall, or if you want to change, you need to use the DEF wall command. With DEF wall, we can define the type of wall by selecting the lines of the walls. In this example, we want the outer perimeter wall to be of external insulation type. We want the internal partitions to be just bricks. During selection, it doesn't matter if there are also openings, as they will be ignored. When you have thickness variation in a wall, or when there are two types of walls, it is advisable to add a separator in the wall to indicate a discontinuity of the layering. This is a simple object that will not be printed. So let's proceed with the drawing. We notice that something is wrong. When you have layers, not symmetrical, as in the case of insulation, you should select the outer side around the entire perimeter. In the toolbar there is a special command that asks us to select a wall or a line from which to obtain the outer perimeter. At this point you only need to regenerate the layering. It is possible to define for each printing scale a different representation of the wall. For the scaling factor 100, 1 to 100, the walls defined by ADCAD system have the layering represented by a filling colour. Let's take a brief glance at the command that allows you to define new types of wall. You can see that for each scale factor it is possible to define different layers and each layer can be modified and defined by the user. Finally, we want to show an alternative layering command when details are less important. The DBL wall command allows you to draw two lines inside the walls. You can indicate the distance between the internal and external lines and the range of the thickness of the walls of which you want to draw the double lines. As you can see, the walls of 13 centimeters do not have double lines. 